वेलकम वेल स्टार्ट विद समेसिक क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज एक्टिव एयर सैम्पलिंग एंड वाई इज इट परफॉर्म्ड इन क्लीन रूम्स एक्टिव एयर सैम्पलिंग इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कैप्चरिंग एंड एनालाइजिंग एयर पार्टिकल्स यूजिंग डिवाइसेज लाइक एन एयर सैम्पलर टू मॉनिटर माइक्रोवेल कंटेमिनेशन इन क्लीन रूम्स इट इंश्योर्स कंप्लायंस विद क्लीनलीनेस स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड हेल्प्स टू मेंटेन प्रोडक्ट सेफ्टी What is the sampling volume requirement for viable air sampling in grade A and grade B areas? A minimum of one cubic meter, that is, thousand liters of air, must be sampled. Guideline reference UGMP Annex One. What is the recommended frequency of active air sampling in clean rooms? Sampling should be performed during routine environmental monitoring, batch production, and after maintenance or cleaning. Guideline reference UGMP Annex One. What type of media is used for viable air sampling and why? Triptic soy agar that is TSA is used for total aerobic counts and subarod dextrose agar is used for fungal detection. Guideline reference USP chapter number 3116. How is the sampler head sanitized before active air sampling? The sampler head must be disinfected using an appropriate sporicidal agent and allowed to dry completely. Before use to avoid contamination. Guideline reference UGMP Annex One. Basic and important. What is principle of air sampling in active air sampler? An air sampler is used to draw in a set volume of air through a perforated head and onto a sterile media plate. The air is accelerated to a speed of 10 to 30 meters per second, causing particles larger than a certain size. to hit the media plate what precaution should be taken while placing the media plate in the air sampler the media plate should be handled aseptically ensuring the lid is opened only during sampling and not exposed to unintended contaminants guideline reference iso 14698 how is the location for active air sampling determined in clean rooms Locations are identified or determined based on a risk assessment considering air flow patterns, critical operations and proximity to product exposure areas. Guideline reference WHO's TRS that is Technical Report Series number 961 Annex 6. What is impact of air flow patterns on the placement of air samplers in clean rooms? Air sampler should be placed where unidirectional air flow or operator activities pose the highest contamination risk avoiding areas with stagnant air guideline reference ugmp annex 1 what type of equipment is used for active air sampling air samplers like sieve impaction slit to agar and centrifugal devices are commonly used depending on the application guideline reference iso 14698 very important question what are the acceptance limits for viable air sampling in clean rooms limits depend on the cleanliness grade for example less than 1 cfu per meter cube for grade a and less than 10 cfu per meter cube for grade b guideline reference ugmp annex 1 what is the calibration frequency for active air sampling devices air samplers must be calibrated at least annually or as per manufacturer's recommendations guideline reference iso 21501 what action should be taken if viable counts exceed the acceptance criteria investigate root causes perform additional cleaning and resample the area document and implement corrective actions guideline reference who trs 961 annex 6 how is data from active air sampling documented and reported results should include sampling location date time sampling volume method and identified organisms if any guideline reference who trs 961 annex 6 why is the environmental condition like temperature and humidity recorded during sampling temperature and humidity can influence microbial growth and air dynamics Recording them ensures accurate interpretation of results. Guideline reference WHO TRS 961 Annex 6.
How should air sampler plates be incubated to detect diverse microorganisms? Plates should be incubated at two temperatures, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for 5 to 7 days for fungi and 30 to 35 degrees Celsius for 48 to 72 hours for bacteria. Guideline reference USP chapter number 1116. Very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for active air sampling in pharmaceutical industry. Answer is UGMP Annex 1 ISO 1468 USP chapter number 1116 WHO's TRS number 961 and ISO 21501 are the commonly referred guidelines for active air sampling in pharmaceutical industry. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.